The city of New Haven is hosting an Independence Day parade and picnic. This is the first time for the event. Win 15's Brianna Brownlee joins us from New Haven with what's on the schedule today. Good morning, Bri. Good morning, Sierra. Yes, we are here in New Haven. I am here with the mayor. How are you doing? Good morning. It is going to be an amazing day. It's a beautiful morning, a great way to start July 4th. <laughs> I'm loving the energy. Now, before um, we got on camera, you were just telling me about how this is an interesting time for you guys to start off with the, um, your first ever Independence Parade. You know, prior to this year, there didn't seem to be any Independence Day parades in Northeast Indiana. Uh, so this has been actually been on my mind for a few years, and then with... 2020 the way that it's mm -hmm. been uh, we thought no time more than now we need uh, safe ways for community to come together so that's why we created this event today we went to, to great measures to make sure we're doing everything safe we're encouraging people to wear masks we have hand sanitizing stations up and down Broadway and in the park here and we couldn't be more excited to welcome the New Haven and the greater Fort Wayne community to come out today celebrate this great country that we live in and of course, you know, with everything our country has been going through, like I know you said it was important for you guys to have an event like this, but why do you feel like it's so important for people to come out here and enjoy this time? I think every time that we can get together, we can celebrate what we have in common. And I, I think we have so much in common, but it also gives us the opportunity to have dialogue on things that maybe we don't understand or disagree on. And I think every time that we have that opportunity to have those moments of dialogue, I just think that's so important, especially right now. Mm -hmm. And of course you guys do have a parade, but also a picnic. Can you just tell us what people can expect from today's event? So the parade starts at 11 and will be going down Broadway. Uh, we've got about 35 or 40 units in the parade. We'll be social distancing. Uh, as I mentioned, we're encouraging people to wear masks. And after the parade, well the parade, first of all, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start with Tom Dadier singing the national anthem. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a, a salute to military and first responders uh, and a great way for community to come together. We'll be live streaming that event on our city Facebook page as well. So for those that can't make it, maybe they're at the lake or maybe some people are, are still a little nervous about coming out in crowds. We're very mindful of that also. We want to be able to share that, share this event with them as well. Also, afterwards, we're going, to be, we're going to be following the parade right down here to Schnelker Park. We'll have food vendors set up. You can bring your own food, bring a blanket. Uh, we have uh, put all the food will be on the perimeter around here, so this nice big park will be open for family seating. We'll have Trevor Hunt on the band, on the band uh, stage right behind us. He'll be performing from 12 until 2. We'll be live streaming that too. I'm going to ask everybody at noon, if you're not with us, drop a hamburger or a hot dog on the grill and virtually join us here in <laughs> Schnelker Park in New Haven. And then we're going to finish it this afternoon. we got a big surprise at 2 o'clock. The 122nd is going to do a flyover, and that's how we're going to end our day here in New Haven, uh, end our parade and picnic with the, the A-10 Warthogs flying right over Schnelker Park and Broadway. So couldn't be more excited. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mayor. Yes, like you said, it's going to be a big day, and he's very excited about it. So, yes, if you guys are in New Haven, just come on out and enjoy the activities. If not, you can be on their Facebook page and enjoy it virtually. Reporting in New Haven, Brianna Brownlee, Lane 15 News. Thank you, Bree.